Hi, my name is Teham Saud, and in today's video, I'll be going over the remaining three sections of the DAT, which were reading comprehension, PAT, and biology. If this is your first time to this channel, go ahead and watch this video in which I preface everything and go over the other three sections of the DAT. So go ahead and watch this one, then come back to this one later. Okay, so just like how we divided everything in three steps for the other three sections that we went over in the other video, it's gonna be kind of similar for these three. But the reason I put these in a separate video is because it's a little different. So when it comes to studying for the biology section, what I did was use the resource Feralis Biology Notes. Feralis Biology Notes were the notes actually shared by a pre-dental student a long, a long time ago, and the way they were compiled was through the usage of the Cliffs AP Biology book. This is a really good resource that a lot of pre-dental students use to study for the DAT because it covers every one of the biology topics that you can possibly be thrown at when it comes to the DAT. And the reason why Feralis Biology Notes are really good is because they go in order of the book in which they expose you to certain amounts of materials and the way they present it in order is in the perfect order in Feralis as well. So if you want to have like a broader exposure of everything, I would recommend using AP Cliffs Biology. But if you don't really want to use the book, then if you use the notes, I promise you that'll be that'll be more than enough. The notes are pretty detailed. I think it was like a 90 page document. I'll have the link for it in the description. And the reason why it's really good is because it has pictures, it has descriptions, it has really detailed explanations of concepts and scenarios that you need to know when it comes to biology. And in the link that I'll have in the description for Feralis Biology Notes, they were actually the notes that I added on to. So I added pictures myself and added a lot of diagrams and side notes and stuff. So what I'll be sharing is what I actually compiled myself. So just like with step one, where you were using Course Saver for Gen Chem, Organic Chem, and Quantitative Reasoning, the step one phase for biology, you're using either Feralis Biology Notes or the Cliffs AP Bio. Now, when it comes to biology, a lot of the topics can be pretty challenging and very detailed, especially the physiological portions of biology that you will need to know for the DAT. So an additional resource that I would recommend to put on top of the two that I just mentioned would be the Crash Course YouTube channel. Crash Course is a really good resource that I went over in my previous video actually. It's really good, they have great animations and they are actually taught in a pretty entertaining way. So please use that video to supplement with everything that you're using just to get a better grasp of the concepts and understand things a lot more. Okay, so the second section is the PAT. The perceptual ability test is a part of the test that nobody really can have much exposure to before you start studying for the DAT. So the resource that I used actually was Crack Dat PAT. And back when I was studying for it, they let you buy the subsections that you needed specifically. But I've heard from some pre-dental students that that's not the case now. So you have to buy the entire package for all of the sections. But the reason why I used the PAT section of CrackDAT was because I knew that they were a little easier than what I would be exposed to in practice exams and the DAT. I needed a good solid understanding of how to tackle the problems. So all of those PAT sections, which were cube counting, top front end, hole punching, pattern folding, angle ranking, and keyholes. So with the PAT, I used that resource because it was really explaining in videos for each question how to tackle them. Okay, it gave you a bunch of answer choices and explained why this one's wrong, and then it went on to explain why the others are wrong. So it'll kind of tackle, it'll kind of allow you to understand how to do these problems because we've never really done anything like this before. So I recommend using CrackDAT for the PAT specifically in the step one process for the PAT. And what makes the PAT different is that I don't have three steps for it, it's actually just two. So use Crack, so use CrackDAT PAT and then Bootcamp, which has a PAT generator as well, to kind of expose yourself to a lot of the types of questions that can be asked. So after the use of the CrackDAT program, go ahead and transition to Bootcamp where you can continue your PAT exposure. And when it comes to the reading comprehension section, this also has only two steps as opposed to three. The reading comprehension section is pretty much a huge passage that you will be getting. And in the passage, you have to answer questions about it. And it's something we're pretty much exposed to already. We've been doing that since high school, SATs, the DAT is kind of similar in that where you just answer a bunch of questions regarding it. So, because of that, I only recommend two sources, which are DAT Q Vault and DAT Bootcamp for preparing for the reading comprehension section. 
All right, well that concludes this video for today. And just like I went over the giveaway in my previous video, I will be doing it again because if you do the same thing in this video, you'll be entered twice to be able to win this book. So make sure to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and comment which year you're applying to dental school and you'll automatically be entered. Also, good luck to everyone studying out there. See you in the next one. Peace.